right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here, more than 15 years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, presenting the challenger, Juggernaut. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Unable to land with that punch. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Battling for hooks. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Liver kick. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Trying to hammer that lead leg. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big kick lands. He landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. And they separate. Out of range with that one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that 
situation. It paid to have the advantage in the match. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Right hand punch for the clinch. It's a big hook. Digging kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, he eats a knee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A little single collar tie there. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice. Hard here. shots landing on both sides here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. You don't know when that leg is coming. Just misses there with the left. He's got a nice liver shot right here. making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh. Round two coming up next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level, I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. He's able to slip the left. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hand is on point. And he caught the kick. Unable to connect there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, single oh. Tie here. and scrambles on the ground. High-level grapplings can really be entertaining. Well, anytime you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Back to the feet now. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout and still. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion Coach.